from panthers and painters, musicians to yoga, studios and therapists. The Chicago Fine Arts Building is a home for art in all forms. It is a living hub for creativity that's been honoring artists for well over a century. And the Chicago Fine Arts Building is celebrating 125 years. Mm -hmm. Tim is live there this morning celebrating as well. Good morning. Can you believe it? 125th anniversary. This place, 10 floors full of history. As soon as you walk in the building, you encounter the history in this place. I'm going to tell you how they're celebrating it here in a second. First, I want to introduce to you Jacob Harvey, who's the managing artistic director here. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, I appreciate thanks, it. So very first thing, I get on an elevator, and I knew this was historic. This was different because it's the last manually operated elevator still in Chicago. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's one of the last human operated elevators in Chicago, which in and of itself is a whole experience. So you press the button and there's a little bell. A goes little on. bell rings and then uh, you'll be greeted by one of our fantastic elevator operators who will take you wherever you want to go within the building. And he's not sure what floor. He's got to search up and down and find that's you. Right. Right? That's right. So some more history. We're in this Studebaker Theater. This is just gorgeous. Of course, this was named after the company that had sold carriages here. That's originally. right. So this building uh, originally was the assembly and showroom of the Studebaker Carriage Factory. And this room that we're in right now was the showroom where they showcased the carriages. And we were here with you, we think about a year ago. About a year so? ago, so. I'm yeah. talking about the renovation and look what it's yielded. What do you think? Yeah, thanks. We're pretty happy with it. And it's a great timing, too, considering it's the 125th anniversary of the Studebaker. And a beautiful new curtain that I had trouble getting underneath here. <laughs> and also, you were telling me that the, even the ceiling is still most of its original, right? That's right. It's the same ceiling from 1898 when the Studebaker first opened. So, how are you guys celebrating this 125th anniversary? Well, uh, there's a whole host of ways in which we're doing it all year, um, but one of the ways is uh, we've opened these two new exhibits uh, in the building uh, where people uh, can come and engage with the history and the stories of the building. We've also installed sort of a self-guided choose-your-own-adventure tour of the building uh, where you can learn about the historical significance and prominent tenants of the building over the last 125 years. So a cool place. There's so many little corners, catacombs where you can find neat stuff. I'm going to put you on the spot. You've been here a couple of years. Mm -hmm. What's your kind of favorite place to go to, to explore? My favorite place to go to is the 10th floor. The 10th floor of the building has these beautiful Art Nouveau murals that oh, were yeah. painted from at the inception of the building. So those were painted between 1889 and 1900 by artists from the building as part of the original artist colony of this building. And those have not been restored. Those are original, right? Those are original. Yeah, we saw those. Those are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So this is open to the public. That's right. This is free. You gotta go to the website to get more information about that. And speaking of which, can you share that website with us? Absolutely. It's fineartsbuilding.com. You could also follow us on Instagram at, at fineartsbuilding.com. Building. Okay, and, and he may, Jacob mentioned the uh, two new exhibits. We're going to explore those a little bit later around 9.30, guys. This place is just so chock full of history. It's really fascinating. Back to you.